Nativity or Christmas Story has been a popular drama in churches and churches and church schools for generations. It is a retelling of an incident that happened over 2,000 years ago in a tiny town of Bethlehem in a stable beneath a brilliant star. But this miraculous event did not take the people of that day and region entirely by surprise. The birth of that very special baby who would be king and ruler had been prophesied for hundreds of years. In the book of Isaiah, chapter 7, verse 14, the prophet tells us, Therefore the Lord himself shall give you a sign. Behold, a virgin shall conceive and bear a son, and shall call his name Emmanuel. In chapter 9, verse 6, the prophet further states, For unto us a child is born, unto us a son is given, and the government shall be upon his shoulder. And his name shall be called Wonderful, Counselor, the Mighty God, the Everlasting Father, the Prince of Peace. But did you ever wonder how the tradition of portraying the Christmas story got started? The first nativity play was not performed by children, nor was it inside a church like the ones we see today, but in a cave by monks in Italy in the year 1223. In that first play, St. Francis of Assisi and his followers acted to remind the local people that Jesus was born for them, and that he was not born into a rich family, but into a poor family, just like theirs. Even though St. Francis told the part of each character in the story himself, he used wooden figures and not real people. But the play became so popular that real people began playing the parts of the characters in the stories. The songs that were sung by the people taking part became what we call Christmas carols today. <coughs> today, the Chiki and the Pap Independent Baptist Church verse choir, accompanied by an ensemble of cheeky actors, singers, and speakers, will repeat what Frank Sanchez and his brethren began centuries ago. So to honor the birth of our Lord, we humbly present, yet again, the age-old story of the Nativity. We will now have a solo by our mystery guest, Spencer Batiste, singing O Holy Night.
And when Mary heard this, she was frightened and wondered what kind of greeting this could be. Who are you? Do not be afraid, Mary. I am Gabriel, the stand of the presence of God. I am sent to you to bring you the glad tidings. For behold, thou shalt conceive in thy womb and bring forth the Son, and shall call him Jesus. But I am just a girl. I have no husband. The Holy Ghost shall come upon thee, and the power of the highest shall overshadow thee. Therefore, the holy thing which shall be born of you shall be called the Son of God. The house is to the house is to be impossible. For God nothing shall be impossible. Your child shall be called the Son of the High. The Lord God shall give him to him the throne of his father David, and he shall reign over the house of Jacob forever. And of his kingdom there shall be no end. Behold, the handmaid of the Lord be it, be it unto me according according to thy word. <coughs> And it came to pass in those days that there went out a decree from Caesar Augustus that all the world should be taxed, and all went to be taxed, every one into his own city. And Joseph also went up from Galilee out of the city of Nazareth into Judea, unto the city of David, which is called Bethlehem, because he was of the house of the Jews of David to be taxed for the very Oh no, not another one. Don't you see the sign? No vacancy? I absolutely don't have any more room in the end. I've already had people sleeping on skids on the floor. But I tried, but I have tried every other place in town. They all say the same thing. Look, my wife is about to get burnt. Isn't this a thing you could do? Yeah. Esther! <laughs> I have a problem here. This man's wife is about to expect a child at any time. You handle it. Uh, I don't know how to handle situations like this. Well, there is a stable out back that has a feeding trough. I'll look for some swaddling clothes and whatever else I can find. I don't have to do, sir. I'm sorry I can't offer anything better. Thank you. Thank you, Lord.